Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be talking about the new Apple tablet, also known as the iPad. Um, basically, what this is, is the long rumored tablet, and I'm just going to be taking you through what's in the device and what people are thinking now that it's finally out and all these speculations are over and everything. Um, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing to note is that the design is basically a giant iPhone. and I could see why Apple did this because Apple is a company that tends to keep their design nice and clean and simple. Now, um, I don't know, but in my opinion, it's a nice design. I mean, they've kept the nice aluminum backing and they kept the one button in the front and the nice black borders around the edge of the screen. It looks really nice. And they've put this design with the iPhone and that's why it looks so retarded because it looks like a fat version of the iPhone. If you think about it, it's really a good design. It's um, simple. It's clean. It gets straight to the point of what you want to do. Now, um, the reason it looks like a fat iPhone is because I think this was in development before the iPhone, and Apple basically launched the iPhone to kind of preview or hint to me the technologies that would be in the device. Now, um, this is running off the iPhone OS, a heavily modified iPhone OS. But as I see it, in my opinion, it's a jailbroken iPhone OS because now you could add backgrounds to the home screen. There's a nice reflective dock, like as in OS X. Um, they've gone in and redid some of their own applications, such as Photos, the iTunes Store, um, Mail, and they've added a new iWork mobile version for this. When I say mobile, I mean like on the go version. So you can have this carrying around with you and then. Use iWork. Um, you have Pages, Keynote, and Numbers. I think, but you have to buy those separately. And I think a lot of people are gonna go for um, Pages first, and then maybe um, Pages and not Pages, but maybe Keynote and then Numbers. But I see this device being primarily used, such as, as by moms and stuff when they're in the kitchen. They they have like recipes open and like um, the average reader or businessman who's always on the go who needs something like from on plane flights and stuff. I, these are the kind of people I see using it. If you already have an iPhone or an iPod Touch, there's really no point of getting this because it's basically a giant iPod Touch or iPhone. And the only thing what saved this device uh, yesterday at the keynote because everybody was going, wow, is this really it? Because it's pretty much the same technology pretty much the same exact thing as the iPhone but the only thing that pr pretty much saved the device yesterday was the pricing scheme and the price for this the base model 16 gig starts as 499 now everybody was speculating 699 is the base and that was pretty good but 499 is where Apple's got everybody's attention everybody else wow 499 okay this device may have a chance and they also released the SDK so um, developers can start developing for the device which will be out in 60 days and I have to say that the way they went and, and read it on the, the apps that they um, include when you buy it, it looks really nice <clears throat> a lot of users on OS 10 are saying well um, how come we don't have this nice looking device in OS 10 how can you put it there um, because um, apps such as the calendar have been redesigned so nicely it's so beautiful like the context book has also been redesigned and it looks so beautiful and it looks really really good and Steve Jobs said um semi quote because I'm not actually reading the quote right now but basically he's like you don't know how it actually feels to be surfing the web or in your hands basically you need to hold the device to actually um feel the power of it and um, the specs of this are a 1 gigahertz A4 chip, which is an Apple custom made chip. Um, it has, I'm not sure about the memory, I think it has 512 memory. I'm not sure about the memory in the device. Um, it has a 1020, wait, 1024 by 768 pixels resolution. It has IPS um, LED backlit technology for the screen. It has Apple's multi touch. Because without multi-touch um, on these Apple devices, it's pretty much um, brain dead. Because multi-touch is what makes Apple Apple for their um, handhelds. The iPhone is all multi-touch. Um, 
the iPod Touch is multi-touch. This is also multi-touch. So pretty much all Apple products that are touchscreen are pretty much multi-touch out of the box. So you, that's something you you always expect from Apple. Um, here we're on the Apple website and we're looking at some of the screenshots and they look pretty nice. I mean, the the, the pictures look kind of umpalumpa size because it's like all stretched out and stuff. But when Steve Jobs brought it out and he was holding it in his hand, it looks so beautiful. It, it didn't look how it, it looks online, like all stretched out and all fat looking. It looked really beautiful in his hands. And a lot of people are anxious to get their hands on it. Not much people have actually held the device because um, Apple is trying to keep it on the download of people holding and stuff. I, I think they're still going in and changing some stuff up because it's not available till 60 days after yesterday. And then there's also a 3G version which, which starts at 629 which is from AT&T and the plan for the 3G version is another thing that's saved the keynote is 14 bucks a month for a 256 megabit um, or megabyte um, data um, plan or 30 bucks for unlimited everything so that the pricing scheme is what pretty much saved the keynote and basically my final thoughts are the device looks a, like a good 1.0 foundation for Apple in the tablet industry but they could have done much better and one of the key things you're missing in 1.0 is a camera everybody's waiting for a camera I mean if you could put the, a camera in an iPod Nano why can't you put a camera in this? I mean, it, this thing would be great to sit down on your couch, watch some TV, do some video calls, um, we're using Skype and stuff like that. But the camera is what's really missing from this device. And I think Apple's going to probably wait for everybody to start buying 1.0. And then as 1.0 is getting really big, they're going to release 2.0. And then everybody's going to be pissed off because they want their money back. And basically, it's the same jazz they did with the iPhone. Uh, iPhone, the first gen was released, everybody was crazy for it, then the 3G came out, everybody was pissed off because they basically got ripped off because the 3G was even at a lower price and um, had better specs and everything and everybody was pretty much pissed. But looking at the device, it looks like a good device for um, a lot of people that don't have a um, smartphone, but they're um, pretty much somebody who's like in the market for a netbook but not really a netbook more of a netbook and an e-reader combined because you can do a, um, a typing with this the on-screen keyboard looks amazing um, it has bluetooth with the dock it comes with you can add your apple bluetooth keyboard and it works with the device um, it, it, <clears throat> all in all it looks like a great device um, some stuff is um, missing but that's pretty much because of us we overhyped overhyped it and let's see where it takes us from here